Good afternoon. On behalf of our executive director, Rhea Matute, who is participating in the Business of Design Week in Hong Kong and the Design Center of the Philippines, we welcome you to all. We welcome you all to this gathering and, introduce, and to introduce a most engaging and future Philippine partner in design, Mr. Timothy Jacob Jensen of the Jacob Jensen Design Studio. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Okay. Uh, let me give you a brief overview of the Design Center's initiatives in strengthening the Philippine design industry in order to put some context into this into the, today's event. Uh, the Design Center of the Philippines has been in the business of design for 44 years. We have been through six administrations since 1973 and we have sustained our mandate, which is to improve Philippine products and Philippine businesses and eventually Philippine lives through design. Recently, we started to align our activities towards implementing the provisions of Republic Act 10557, also known as the Philippine Design Competitiveness Act of 2013. We have developed signature events and internationalized, the, internationalized them in pursuit of our vision to have the Philippines be internationally recognized, influencer in the area of design, and making the creative industries the next driver of the Philippine economy. In April, we organized the ASEAN Creative Cities Forum and Exhibition, where regional leaders, movers, and advocates of creativity and design talked about the values and benefits of being recognized as a creative city and developing a robust creative hubs and ecosystems. <coughs> One of the outcomes of that forum was a recognition of Baguio as a UNESCO creative city for arts and, and folk, art, arts, folk arts and crafts. Another signature event which we launched in September is the International Design Conference, which will be an annual international gathering of futurists and creative thinkers in the world of design. Last September, our theme was Future Proof Through Design Thinking, where design thinkers such as Merle Jaime, Johan, Johan Persson, Dan Formosa, and Charlie Clark shared experiences and inspirations even on human-centered design and design-driven culture. It underlined the pressing need to nurture creativity and innovation in pursuit of nation building. The Design Week Philippines, celebrated twice yearly in April and October, is our annual event where we collaborate with other creative sectors and creative hubs to bring the gospel of design to the general public. One of the special features of the Design Week Philippines is the creative environment and the focus it has given to Intramuros in, suppo in support of establishing a creative hub or cluster in that area. We look forward to celebrating the Design Week Philippines world uh, nationwide, and we hope to have Design Week Philippines in Baguio and Cebu next year. The Design Center is also active in our support of the creative industries and the creative economy, which has been globally recognized as a major contribution to any country's GDP. Design Center is also a member of the Subcommittee of Cult on Culture of the Philippine Development Plan. It's the first time that the culture was um, included in the Philippine Development Plan. And we have been instrumental in, in including creativity and the creative economy agenda in the said chapter. We also, also strongly support and align initiatives with the Creative Economy Council of the Philippines, a group of private sector advocates and movers of the creative industry. Today, we are honored to be collaborating with the Danish Embassy in priority areas of design the first of which is on design education with the Jacob Janssen Design Studio. <clears throat> Danish design has always been recognized, has always been a recognized force in the world of design and creativity, and we are indeed very honored to assist in ushering a new chapter of Philipp in Philippine design based on a collaborative platform with an internationally recognized powerhouse. Now let me turn you over to, uh, let me turn over, uh, let me, let me now turn over the mic to Mr. Paul Tahon, who, over, who oversees the knowledge-based industries on the Board of Investments and who will brief you on um, initiatives, the government initiatives on the creative industry. 